Hi, I'm Haley J. Madison. And I'm Allison Egan. And we're from Her Name Was Torment 2. And you're watching Mr. Mr. Tony of the Dead. Hey everybody, what's going on? Mr. Tony of the Dead here, and welcome to part two of my VHS haul. If you didn't see the first video, make sure you go check it out. There are a lot of goodies in that one, but this is the rest of the goodies. Too many to put into one video. I thought I'd split it up for everybody, just to, because I'm a nice guy. But uh, there's not as many in this one. There's also, I forgot, I have a couple DVDs and one video game so I'm gonna get those out of the way quickly and first um, just because they are not VHS but uh, first video the only video game I got and I'm glad I found this there because I really wanted to get this uh, SX SSX tricky for the Xbox so I got that I didn't I don't remember yeah it does have the manual it's all it's all complete and everything looks good so I got that one and now to move on to the DVDs Again, uh, not all horror, but just think, whatever, right? Just whatever. I got the whackness here. Uh, I've wanted to get this on, you know, any format, and, uh, you know, I got it there. Saw it. I'm like, why not? I, almost, I wasn't going to get any DVDs, but I saw just a couple that I wanted. And then uh, I got the bling ring. Nothing special. Uh, bling ring. And moving on, just because uh, it's the same guy that did uh, like Kids and that Larry Clark, uh, and, and that's Bully, which is a a big step up from Kids and Gummo. But uh, I got Bully, and uh, I I watched that a while ago. It was a pretty good movie. And this I used to have. In fact, I bought it from that store. Did a review on it. Didn't like the movie, but I had to get it again because the cover is is like a lenticular cover. It looks really cool, and that's. Pinata, Survival Island, uh, what's her name, Jamie Presley's in it, but you can see how it does that. And my other cover didn't do that, so I'm like, alright, I'll get it, I'll get it again. Not a good movie at all. I mean, it's it sucks, but that cover's really cool. <laughs> but moving on now to the VHS, which is the reason you're probably watching this video. Uh, there, like I said in the other video, this is a big variety of, of you know, there's horror, there's action, there's sci-fi and all that kind of stuff. Comedy, um, not too much comedy, but some. But I'm just going to go right into it. And the first one I have here, and this is from Vestron, good old Vestron. It's Man on Fire. Geo approves, Man on Fire. Uh, I'm, you know, I see Vestron. I don't, I don't really care what it is, I get it, but Man on Fire sounds like a good time. This one because Molly Ringwald's in it, and that's and Lance Hendrickson's in it too, but Molly Ringwald. Uh, how do you say that? Baja? I guess it's Baja? Why not? So, but, uh, Molly Ringwald. You cannot go wrong with Molly Ringwald. One of my crushes. <laughs> and moving on here, we got from SVS incorporated and that's Cameron's closet uh, it sounded kind of like a thrillerish in a way I don't know but uh, don't ever open the door Cameron's closet never never even knew this movie existed but look it sounds kind of scary so why not now this one I remember seeing this cover back in the day and uh, Steve Gutenberg's in it it's from Playhouse video and it's bad medicine. I remember seeing that cover back in the day, but I never piqued my interest in in watching it. But I got bad medicine. Steve Gutenberg. Got like Steve Gutenberg. I don't. I don't know. Uh, and this one, it, the cover, the the box is a little, it's beat up, but I'm not gonna pass it up because it's Prince of Darkness. Uh, again, this is another one where if I come across another copy you know maybe you know uh, maybe something won't be like the tape will be better I don't know I just got it because Prince of Darkness and it's John Carpenter the, the tape looks really good I haven't tried any of these out to make sure they worked but they all look good there's no mold or anything you know I would not buy mold VHS tapes that's just wrong and sad 
but Prince of Darkness there. Now this one, uh, I got this because I really enjoyed this back in the day. I thought it was a really good sci-fi horror, so, not really horror, but uh, the 13th floor. For its time, I thought this was a really good movie. I, I don't know how it would hold up nowadays, but I remember really enjoying this, so I wanted to re to check this out again. Uh, in fact, looking on here, I forgot Vincent D D D how do you say his name? D'Onofrio was in this. But uh, and it says he's from Men in Black, which is like funny because he does so many other things now. But the 13th floor, I think this is kind of a hidden gem. I don't know how, again, how it would hold up now, but I definitely remember really liking it. And this one, never seen. Jack Palance is in it, but uh, it's Cyborg 2. And um, Angelina Jolie is in this. Look at that. I, I, I thought that was her, but I wasn't really 100% sure. Uh, from Vidmark here, uh, Cyborg, uh, Vidmark Entertainment. Cyborg 1 uh, is from is from Canon and Jean-Claude Jean Van Damme's in it. It's very good. I mean, it's it's cheesy, but I remember really liking it. But Cyborg 2 here, it looks like they're really up their game on everything. And that's a pretty cool cover. Jack Palance, Jack Palance was actually from my area. Uh, I have a story about him, but I'm not going to say anything. But he always like would say hi and that, but nobody really approached him, you know, because he didn't really like it. But he still said hi if you noticed him. Uh, and this one, I guess, it's not a cut box, no, but it, I just thought this sounded different. I don't know. And it's beer, Rip Torn's in it, Loretta Swit, um, what the hell's his name? Uh, David Allen Greer's in it. It just it says it's a comedy, and then it says Thorn EMI HBO video, from o and it's Orion. I don't know, I've never seen that logo, so that was interesting. But beer... I like beer. Maybe you do too. I know some people don't. Uh, this one, I'm glad I got this uh, Toby Hooper movie. This is a really good movie. I have the second one, but I haven't watched it. And, I, and I'm like, oh, I hope I find the first one. I did, and it's The Mangler with Robert England. Now, I know a lot of movies that Robert England does outside of like Friday the 13th, or I mean, a Nightmare on Elm Street and stuff like that. They're not uh, always the best, but I really enjoyed this movie back in the day. Uh, very, very cool movie. This is kind of an embossed a little bit. Not, not like super amount. You can't really even see it. But, uh, and the box is in okay condition. It, there's some, it's a little rough around the edges and that, but whatever. The Mangler. Recommend that movie if you haven't seen it. Definitely a, a decent watch. And this one, uh, from Vidmark Entertainment. I don't know, it just sounded strange and different i don't know but i i believe i don't know if that's her or not but it looks like the girl who played winnie cooper i don't know i might be wrong we'll just ignore that the whiz kid i don't know why not <laughs> moving on here from good old vestron again the chauffeur it's again it's a lot of vestron horror movies i, I that i do have you know i i like but it's funny like i you get like other ones like this, like from Vestron. Just because it says Vestron, I'll get it. I shouldn't say that. There's one movie there that was Vestron that I had no interest in. And uh, I, I know you're going to say what it was. It, it was a, a stand-up, and I don't really care. I hope I don't look online now and see that it was worth like $1,000. But whatever. Um, another Vestron here is Utilities. Now, I see that. That's a cool cover. They don't do covers like that anymore, like drawings. Really, it, it really got to appreciate that stuff. Utilities, nice Vestron label there. Uh, I guess, I don't know, I guess this is an older Vestron label and the other one's a little newer, or is it vice versa? I have no idea. My tape fellow tape heads will tell me. Um, and this one, I remember seeing this back in the day, and oh, it just like kind of creeped me out. And that's The Surgeon, and this is from Apex Entertainment. I don't remember if this cover, like, was glossy or, or something to the cover. It might be just my imagination, but for some reason I remember this being, like, a little, maybe embossed or something. I don't know, but maybe I'm wrong. But this one isn't. But the surgeon, that used to kind of freak me out back in the day. Not freak me out, but I used to think it was kind of, like, scary looking. Uh, this one, I, 
honestly don't know if I have this on VHS. I think I do, or no, actually I think I have part two and I needed part one. Uh, but The Howling, and this is the Embassy Home Entertainment version of 1981. So that's, that's a nice label on the side, you know. Looks good. And this one, just because Jesse Venture is in it, Abraxas, I guess it's how you say it. One Cop, Two Galaxies, a science fiction adventure across space and time. And also you got, you know, Belushi in it. And it's funny because he's not even mentioned in the, uh, in the cast or anything. He's not even mentioned on here. Crazy. It's crazy. Like, they put him on the, on the back, though, but he's not mentioned in there. It's weird. Uh, this one, Corey Feldman, and it looks cheesy as hell. I believe this is a rare one as well. I'm not sure. But from another Apex Entertainment. I realize I had so many Apex Entertainment. Voodoo. Who do you do the voodoo that you do? Whatever the, those words are. But voodoo. There he is right there. And, ah! and I'm sure it's very, very cheesy and corny if he's in it. Um... And this, Anthony Michael Hall's in this, and <laughs> I think this is another rare one, maybe, but uh, a gnome named Norm. I saw this a long time ago, and I can't tell you anything about it from Polygram Video. Uh, but that's just, I don't know, I just, I, I remember, remember back in the day, but I don't remember seeing it. I don't remember anything about it. Uh, another Vestron video here. I do have this already, but I think it's under a different label, maybe Video Treasures or something. But uh, I got Space Camp, which is kind of a hidden gem. I, I enjoyed this movie. I don't know how this would hold up nowadays, but I do remember really liking this movie. It has a really good good cast, too. So, uh, But Kate Capshaw, if you, if you remember from Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, is in this. Uh, didn't really care for her in Temple of Doom because she's annoying as hell, but I remember this one. And the, the cast is, you know, it's a nice, good young cast. A lot of young faces. I mean, it's an old movie. Yeah. Uh, this one from Canon Films. It's a big box, and it's Up Your Anchor. Uh, I don't know. It looks like a comedy. You got the, uh-oh, 50 cents charge if not rewound. But it's rewound. It's actually in a very good shape. I don't know. I, I just, again, I saw Canon. And I had to get it. And then this one, uh, very interesting. Uh, Ethan Wayne, which is, you know, John Wayne's son. Uh, Operation Nam. It's like this big clamshell box. Pretty cool. But uh, there's like, so I guess there was a, there, obviously there was a sticker here. It's pretty, pretty, it's just a case that's worn, but... Uh, it looks very interesting. Imperial Entertainment Corporation, uh, yeah, Operation Nam. Looks looks interesting. That cover is pretty cool. I like the font and everything. And uh, Donald Pleasance uh, is in this. So, and John Wayne's son. So you can't go wrong, I guess. I never. I actually don't think I've ever seen a movie with John Wayne's son in it. That could be his only one, for all I know. I don't know. I don't follow the Waynes. But that's it, everybody. That's my haul. Uh, make sure you go and check out part one to this to see the other stuff I got. See, there's nothing, like, amazing in these hauls, but there's stuff that you don't see out in the wild. It's not like, you know, I didn't get Titanic or Speed or any of that stuff, which they did have there. They had about eight copies of Titanic sealed. Oh, I so should have got one. But, no. Uh, they, they did have, like, the regular ones. There was... You know, there was a lot of stuff that I wish I would have gotten, but I really didn't have any interest in it. But nothing I couldn't find somewhere else. But, you know, it, again, it's a shame that the store went out of, out of business. You know, um, that's a mom and pop store, another one gone. But, you know, that again, but just, just, I'll just end the video. Thanks everybody for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. And let me know what was your favorite uh, movie or one you'll be interested in watching that I got in this part in part two here. So that's it everybody. Thanks for watching and talk to you later. Bye.